flower pots for right now because I got a couple of little couple of little um what is it called uh, plants and stuff growing in my closet of my pantry basically but I don't use it as a pantry uh, a couple of little plants growing in there and they're already I guess being my wife said um, because of the colors of the turning yellow is because they're getting too much water so I need to get some soil for that so yeah that's what I'm gonna do get some soil and defending against sex requires seeing I better monetize this fucking video for the fucking music on computers oh, man. Play the other one. Hopefully, I listen to those. I listen to music now that uplifts somewhere here. As me, I always listen to music that has talks about monies and bitches and cars and materialistic shit. So now I find myself listening to a lot of oldies. Too loud where you can catch it. I don't see why it needs to be monetized if I'm speaking over it. So, but hey, fuck it. 
Hotel. Yeah, let me see where my oh, there it is right there. Gotta have my fucking mask, cause the uh, motherfucker be tripping, try to go in these stores and uh, and um, they demand you to wear the mask, which is which is their right. I mean, that's their store. I mean, if you're gonna go to someone to depend on, I mean, you should do what they tell you. Hence, we're living in the United States of America in society. Wasting time. I just don't understand how. person can go to someone else's establishment and then if they tell you fucking uh, pull your pants down and before you buy something I mean shit you have to do it I mean it's up to you if you choose to buy them so I don't know what's all the complaining about now what makes what's gonna piss me off is when I'm walking around my neighborhood or walking outside of public and they demand me and they look at you too, they demand like, oh, you ain't got your mask on out here? Like, man, what the fuck? No one didn't tell you to come outside, bro. It's a public area. You know what I'm saying? So, why? And I'm not trying to be selfish or nothing, but hey, man. Hey, I, I fucking eat right. Eat right, bro. Eat right. And I, I, I think if you eat right and your, your metabolism is strong, you know, and God forbid, I get it. You know, because I'm unhealthy and I am still unhealthy. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I don't eat right still. I mean, just yesterday I went to go to the barbecue place because after eating, after eating right for for you know off and on for a while, you know, you know, I give it what this time I did about four days and I think my wife did like six days. So then she was like craving busting and I was craving busting. I, you know, we went out there to go see what we can make our what our income tax can look like because we didn't get our stem and shit. So we ended up just uh going to go see if we can you know cash out on that quick to see what it looks like. So um after we were gonna do that we we're gonna go um to go eat. You know what I'm saying? You know, you know as much as I don't want my wife eating that stuff and she doesn't want me eating that stuff either but it's just you know we still have these craving addictions to these foods so Hey, you know, it's no excuse though, but you know, hey, that that's my life, you know what I'm saying? So So you know, that's my life, so you know. Yeah, it's always when someone wants to come out, it's funny like when somebody wants to pull out and shit and um and uh well you're gonna block it, I guess I have to block it. So um yeah, they just uh it's funny how like when people are trying to come out these stores exit and stuff and you're at a stoplight and everybody just like blocks the exit in and shit or even they try to hog when you let them in you know what i'm saying you let one in and then they're all trying to hog and shit it's like god damn dog like it's, like, it's a lot like it's hard for me to come out here now it's a lot of unconsideration you know what i'm saying once you start loving yourself and i'm like fully not in love with myself yet still and you'd be surprised how many people don't love themselves you know what I'm saying? It took me a minute to understand that. And once I started knowing that, well, the things I do to people and the things I've done to myself is because I didn't love myself. And, um, like, even to my wife when we were first together, you know, I was, you know, mentally abusive, you know? And, um, didn't even, didn't, don't want to excuse it, but didn't want to admit, not admit, but didn't, didn't comprehend that I love this person and then there goes that you can't love someone unless you love yourself but you know I love her and um and I um sound like I'm contradicting myself but I love her and um and um you know I would say these nasty things to her and um and um, of course she apologized I apologized she forgave me and um, thank you know thank thanks to her you know what I'm saying thanks to her thanks to God that you know and when I say God I, you know I'm putting it as a sense of love and shit you know thank God thanks to love that you know she 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 ex you know she accepted my apology and and um, 
and we went through that for like years and sometimes I, I end up putting my walls up too for years and stuff and um, is she calling me right now but uh yeah but um well I guess not she must have got a car someone else <laughs> but uh yeah she uh she uh she uh a lot of mental abuse in our relationship and then me putting my walls up I found other uh, avenues to, to distance myself from her and I don't understand why I was distancing myself from her and then going through this journey right here I realized you know it, it was me and stuff you know it was me who who had of course I had issues you know what I'm saying but didn't understand the factors of those issues and when I started putting them together I started you know working on them and then you know where I truly can love myself and and what comes with that is you know uh, you know respecting yourself and and and, and uh, it's, it's, it, like I think I can I can say a lot about it but I don't want to because I'm driving right now but um but it came a lot with that so now you know I'm so courteous to and I'm not trying to be a good person like that you know what I'm saying but it just comes with it it just like I'm like you know what let me take my basket you know. I'm walking with a basket. My wife made a point about that. I'm walking with my basket. You know, we walk with our basket in the stores. And we come out here and then it's at a parking spot. We just leave our baskets there. You know what I'm saying? And now I find myself just realizing, you know, like what yesterday realizing, you know what? I take, I'm always taking my baskets back to the rack. So that way that the person who works there doesn't have a hard time doing his job. You know what I'm saying? It's those little things. And I ain't trying to make them not have a job because then if we keep doing that, then they'll probably have robots come pick them hoes up and then make this man lose his job and shit. You know, but, um, yeah, but I find myself being courteous. You know what I'm saying? Um, or, or like, man, my, my car's full of junk. I don't even throw trash out. I never did, actually. I was going to tell my wife about that last night. Like, I never really threw trash outside at all. Like, because I didn't want to get my car dirty and shit. But, but, um, but now I find myself like, fuck it, man. My car that just left. If I'm gonna be trashy, then I'm gonna be trashy to my own car. This is my car. You know, I'm gonna be trashy to the planet. You know what I'm saying? A place where where a lot of people live on. You know what I'm saying? It's bad enough we drive cars, we live in houses, but but we do these things to a planet that 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 keeps us alive. You know. And now we're trying to go to the moon. And trying to go to whatever planet we can find that's like Earth, so what? So we can trash that motherfucker too. And now I feel like we're turning into a, a, a cancer. But I don't think it's us. I think we're. I think. I think people of the tropics and black people especially are 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 T cells to the planet. I don't know. Man, I might be wrong. But, um, but yeah, I believe we didn't have all this stuff. We would be eating off the vines and pooping on the ground and creating some more, you know, vegetation and keeping the earth breathing again. And I think the vibrations of the earth is misconstrued and it's possibly a chance where she's pulling in these meters now. Well, not now. They've been happening, but whenever she's not feeling good, you know, her vibrations are not pushing these meters or uh, uh, meteorites or, or over or anything like that. So, but that could be one of their things to trick us and then have this meteor explosion on us. You know what I'm saying? They they talk about pushing the meteor, but who knows? Maybe they're trying to pull the meteor, so that's why they're trying to work on that space force, so they can fucking uh, live on the moon. And then and um, build what they need to build. So when the time comes, or if the time they want to make it happen, they'll explode this planet. You know what I'm saying? And restart it again. And who knows how long they've been doing it? I don't know. They talk about people been living on the planet on the dark side of the moon. Maybe it's true. Maybe we've been doing this reset. They've been doing this reset for years. You know what I'm saying? For for thousands and millions of years. Who knows? We don't know nothing. We're left in the dark. And they want to sit there and tell and, and give us all this important. I mean, what they don't give us none of this important ass messages. I mean, um, 
information that we're supposed to know. They tell us they burn the mines, fucking secrets, and they don't know too much about who built the pyramids. And but the Vatican has all these secrets. They they if they don't, but they sure they usually keep some secrets. You know what I'm saying? And they don't let us have all those secrets and shit. It's not like I can go over there like a library and find this shit out. And I don't even want to anyways because if I go there, they probably misconstrued the fucking the evidence anyways. But I do know. If we go back to just living on the land and eating like we're supposed to and shitting on the floor like we, we did, you know, we would bring this planet back to the way it needed to be, maybe. You know what I'm saying? I can't even say that because I just don't know. But I know I'm not polluting somebody else. So let me get on this fucking, this uh, bomb out plans and shit, man. I'll be back. I don't know if I'm a, I don't, I don't have nothing to record like on my like on my shirt to walk around and record this shit and too I'm not comfortable with that shit yet either yet you know what I'm saying I don't want to look like I'm that guy look at this fucking vlogger but you know I I like to express and I don't care that's why my videos are long now because I tried to buy a computer and edit it and it was just so much bullshit that I had to go through and I mean yeah it might have been one time thing like buy it but then I had to buy up, uh, I had to upgrade my, my photo storage I had to buy uh, a, a trial Well not a trial I have to buy uh, And I don't want to use free trial shit I want to make sure I get the best of it So I can get it to work the way I need to work so, But I went with the, a medium class computer That my wife got for me 16 gigabytes One one terabyte And uh, a memory And it, it I took it home And and I was like so anxious about like spending this money on this thing. And it was like fifteen hundred dollars, I'ma say. And um and I was so like anxious about spending. I even woke up at night and I was like, man, I was like, I don't feel right, love. You know, I don't know what it was, but I didn't feel right and I and I was just back and forth about spending money on this when I could have been spending money on flower pots and stuff like that to get us, you know, you know, with this vegetable thing like we're supposed to be doing you know what i'm saying we really want to get some land and do this but we just want to take these little small steps and we don't even want to get these these fertilizers because these fertilizers they have i mean how, how much polluted are they like we want alkaline food and and some of these berries and shit that they're telling us that are not alkaline no more so now we're going to buy a fucking machine that's going to tell us if the fucking food's alkaline now because some of the fucking fruit we're buying that's supposed to be alkaline it's not even fucking alkaline. And that's some bullshit, dog. Like, they, they fucking us. They fucking you in the front end. They fucking you in the back end. You know what I'm saying? Might as well be gay. Like, goddamn, I'm getting fucked all over the place. So, so, um, so I'm going to go in here and give me some flower pots. I don't feel comfortable right now because I don't have nothing to carry the phone. or Because I don't, I don't have a camera, GoPro, Pro, Toe, Toe, whatever. Fuck, man. And, um, and, um. And uh, and um, what was I say? And um, and I don't want to carry my phone like that because it just feels weird to me. So I'm, I'm gonna just go ahead and leave my phone here, collect my shit, and I'll show you what I got. And I'll talk some more shit. for that.
Start growing some shit. So we're really trying not to use fertilizer, but the, the ground is so fucking uh, filthy and saturated that I can't even plant nothing out there. And then the plants that I'm trying to grow are the, the seeds that I buy from fucking Walmart. I mean, not the seeds I buy from Walmart, but the plants that I, I mean, the food that I get from Walmart. And then they don't even fucking grow. Oh man, it's, it's, it's it's not fucking weird, I know what it is. It's, that's why they're trying to get rid of the seeds. Oh, we're trying to get rid of the seeds for the food because we're trying to make it comfortable for y'all to eat so y'all don't have to deal with seeds. But nah, it's really because you don't want us to grow your shit that you've been making that say like a watermelon that grows only like five seeds only. That's it, that's all you have to worry about is five seeds only. Well then guess what? If I can grow that seed, I'm gonna grow the watermelon too. And I don't have to deal with seeds. So they ain't even trying to do shit for us. When they ever try to do shit for us. But not only that, we're gonna say, um, yeah, like I was saying earlier too about, I might leave that one for the other point though, but, um, man, where's these fucking flower pot bitches? Yeah, we have to take my glasses out here. It's really fucking up my shit. But, um, yeah, but like I was saying earlier about, like the Vatican and them having information, the government has fucking secrets, aliens, and they don't want to tell us nothing about that or if there is even fucking aliens or what's on the moon, if there's a moon, not if there's a moon, but if there's space and, you know, if there's a, a what do they call it, a, a firmament, you know, like they don't tell us none of this shit. What makes you think they're going to give you a holy Bible to secrets to get into heaven? I don't, I don't, you know, I'm, I'm, you know, as much as I hear that book say a lot of things that make, you know, that come to, to come to, that come to light, but I mean, Nostradamus is saying shit that comes to light sometimes, you know, some people predict shit sometimes, you know, that book's been there for a long time, you know, it, it took a lot of years to get that book in order, you know what I'm saying, and maybe it's intentional with good things at first, but, you know, I don't know, man, I don't know, I mean, I, I, I know, but I don't want to be speaking right now on some shit, that, you know, it's a lot of people believe in, you know, hey, if it makes you feel good, it makes you a good person, because, you know, I, I followed that book for a long time, too, you know, and, and, um, and, uh, and, uh, and I believe it made me the person I am today, you know what I'm saying, you know, shit, but I can say that about movies, you know, I watch Superman, I watch Batman, you know, you know, but then you look at Superman, you look at Batman, you know, these these, um, these superheroes who don't hurt bad guys. You know what I'm saying? Like, hey, I'm the goodness of my heart. Even though, even though the Joker's a murderer, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do what he does because I'm a good person. But you know, which is true. You know, you, you, you shouldn't do something to somebody. You shouldn't cause no harm to somebody. But when somebody, when it comes to defending yourself, and this dude's trying to kill you, I mean. It is what it is, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know if I'm in, if I'm ever getting in that situation where I have to expel someone's life because he's trying to kill me, you know what I'm saying? Or trying to take one of my, my family member's life, you know, well, then what am I gonna do? So, so I don't know what that situation is, but speaking right now, like, I, I, I don't wanna take nobody's life. I don't wanna take nobody's life. group of people that's done that you know what i'm saying like actually 
mass genocide people, you know what I'm saying? It's still mass genocide now, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I might be just going on a rant, but I don't see none of these fucking flower pots. What the fuck is that? Like the old original flower pots where it's just like a little... Like basically I can use a damn uh, milk carton, but I, I don't drink milk like that. The milk jug, but I don't drink milk like that anymore. Let's see, flower, vegetables, herbs. Eight dollars. <laughs> get it but also it's not as bad because i've been finding out these motherfuckers are putting acids in, in fertilizer I'm like what the fuck dude to make their own fertilizer so they can sell it. Well, they sell that dirt that's on the side of the road too, like when they, when they bring up the, um, when they um, like excavate their their, um, their own land or something like that, and you know, they get rid of it, they'll sell it on the side of the road. Me and Rico want to do that too. We want to, um, we want to go and, um, we want to go and do the stuff like this. We want to go and, and um, we want to go and, uh, What's wrong with you? I'm gonna push record real quick. Oh, what are you doing? Uh, doing this anonymous survey with the company. Which company? Um, audience. Audience? What the fuck is this? Who's that? The, com the company I work for. Oh, what? Oh. Oh, they want you to do a survey for them? Shit, was this dude backing yeah. up? Yeah. Huh? No, I thought this dude was backing up, but he was just getting out. Whew. Well, all right, well, let me just get back on that survey. All right. I mean, you could stay on the phone. Now, what'd you say on the survey? <laughs> So what does it say? No, I said, what'd you say on the survey? Hold on, I'm still typing. Basically, the survey had asked, um, the survey had asked, we want our ears open, we'll commit, what, what comments do you have about the audience acquisition by PTC? Do you have any questions that have not been answered by the info in the PTC audience resource center? As a reminder, all responses are anonymous. This fucking dude coming right behind me real fast. Fucking bitch. I'm put he like he's far away going real fast, right? Like you would think, you know, I have enough time to pull out, you'll slow your bitch ass down. Nah, he's like, nah, you should you should fucking not pull out because I'm going so fast. I tell you, he's like some selfish ass motherfucker think he's in a fucking badass fucking uh, challenger and shit, but that motherfucker is not even fucking like the decent one is just a fucking used piece of shit one. What, bitch? Hold on. No, don't you act fucking slow, bitch. Ah, uh, you little bitch ass bitch. What he, happened? Like, we, well, right here, he had a chance to fucking, like, stop and, and hold up a little bit, you know what I'm saying, and say what he needed to say. But he fucking, like, looked at me and then drives off turns real quick. Nah, bitch, that's not how you play those games. Bitch ass. Like, I thought he was going to say, like, pull his window down and say something to me. I was like, okay, well, let me pull my window down and know how, how fucking selfish you were driving that fucking fast. I mean, that was enough time for me to fucking get out. I'm supposed to be like, oh, he's going super fast. He could kill both of us. 
I should just stay. I should just wait. Like, goddamn, man, just slow your ass down, dog. You know, you don't even have to be going that fucking fast, dude. God damn. It was enough time for him to to slow down when I pulled out or to change lanes. But shit, maybe I'm the selfish one. I just fucking pulled off and I didn't think, you know, hey, he's going super fast from way over there. I should just not pull out right now and save both our lives. Shit, fuck it, man. I mean, I'm, I'm suicidal, dog. I'll, I'll pull out and kill both of us, shit. <laughs> yeah, I'm the selfish one, yeah. I guess I'm right. But, um, yeah, but I thought he was going to stop right here because I pulled, when I pulled up beside him and I was like the first in the, the light line and, um, and, uh, and he was like two cars behind. So when I, right when I pulled up to, to pull up to the light, he's, he's like, like, you're like motherfucker and um i don't know what he said but you know he had that face like motherfucker because he was waiting for me to pull beside him and i'm like what the fuck and then when i parked like it was his chance to you know pull up and, and be right beside me but he's like nope Boom. he didn't even like like stop stop he paused like okay you gonna pause at this intersection yeah i, I guess i was the one that was wrong all right i tell you dog I hope you don't think I'm going to get out and fight. I'm going to just sit here and talk how, how I'm talking, and you you go ahead and take that home with you. Yeah. And you better hope that I'm not YouTube famous and shit, and, and, and then we, we're we going to see who, who's right and who's wrong then. And I ain't tripping yeah. shit. I ain't tripping. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. But shit, I, I, don't, I, don't think, I don't think I was, but he don't probably think he was either. He's like, shit, it's, it says 50, but shit, I know he ain't going no 50. Cause I seen cars go right there already. I don't know how many times on the feeder. You know what I'm saying? I don't think that was 50, homie. But he was a good distance. You know what I'm saying? A good distance away. I'm like, you know what? Let me go ahead and pull out. You know, you know let me pull out, and then he'll, you know, he'll he'll slow down. You know what I'm saying? Huh? And he's like, nah. And he didn't even slow down. He just fucking turned, got on the left hand, got on the next lane, and just like, mmm, mmm, and drove right fast past. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Gee, and they, one day you're going to catch the wrong motherfucker and it's like, I don't give a fuck. I'll, he's going fast and, and I'm going to wait to the last minute. But, um, I'm going to say, uh, yeah, I was just, just, Oh, low battery again. What the fuck? Oh, it's still recording, though. Yeah, um... I'm gonna say, uh... Yeah, I got some... You want me to read you what I wrote? Oh, yeah, yeah, go ahead. I'm sorry. No, it's okay. Let me just read it real quick. They asked, um, how we feel about the acquisition, like, PPC buying audience. Yeah. And, um... Any questions or anything, and the response is anonymous. Oh, and you're at work, of, though, huh? Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm like, I don't even care if it's anonymous, but this is what I said. I said, I think it's super shady to sell the company out in the fashion that it was done. As a new employee, it has me very, very paranoid. I see nothing but white faces at PGC. That worries me. Am I going to have to, am I going to be put in situations where I have to check some overprivileged folks? who don't know boundaries and aren't privy to any other cultures or practices. I've already had to check someone in the audience for some very sensitive, insensitive comments they made to me. And it gave me anxiety that I'm tired of dealing with. I'm exhausted and I feel like I've been sold into slavery. Y'all are weak for that. And although I'm used to being screwed by these companies, this one is different because audience presented themselves as allies to the DEI icon. And now that just seems like a bunch of fool. I have much more to say, but y'all did what y'all did. So that's all y'all did. Oh, and I know this is mostly Fernando's doing. He seems like the type based off of these things I've gathered from him from the jump. That's my response. Yeah. Yeah, just anxiety all around. <laughs> yeah. Just like, oh. Yeah, they want you to talk, you know, like you, but then when you talk like you, it's just like. But maybe they're just like, well, you shouldn't have anxiety. Like, dude, I know you don't get anxiety. I mean, fuck, what do you have to worry about? I mean, everybody, everybody you walk, everybody you working around is white. So I mean, what anxiety do you have to have? That's what I, they, I think. I think that's what it is. Like, they don't. They, 
just because and, you know not only they're not putting their foot in, in our in our in our place it's more than just putting us in our plate i mean putting your feet in our shoes because you don't feel those emotions you know what i'm saying you can just sit there yeah. and think about it like oh, okay yeah he went to the mm-hmm. store and then he bought something and then he got out the car yeah okay what what's so scary about that it's like yeah but you don't even know the anxiety levels and the thoughts that we go through and the process of thoughts we go through when we're like hey i'm gonna go to the corner store let me not drive my car because i don't want to get pulled over for no reason yep literally and and, and yeah i'm smoke yeah i smoke weed yeah, I smoke weed, and and me going to the store, they want to pull me over for some weed and shit, and they may possibly want to take me to jail because of that little bitch ass shit. But that's what they used to, but they don't do that. But even though I'm gonna get a ticket, just because I'm trying to calm my stress down because I gotta go to work. You know what I'm saying? Just work alone. I want to calm myself down, but I I can't eat, I can't smoke something, which you know, I, like I said, I don't believe you should be smoking. Mm-hmm.